some people might be confused. Some people might say, what are they speaking about? Brothers and sisters, we understand through reading the Bible, we understand through studying the Bible, that it's a history book. The book correlates and shows past, present, and future. It's the only book that does that flawlessly. It shows the rise and the fall and what is in store for a particular people called the children of Israel. And it also correlates and shows what the other nations that were around them, how they live, how they interact. Because why? History is very important. And we all know this thing. If you don't know what happened in history, we are doomed to repeat it. Brothers and sisters, let me get the book of Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. And give me Amos 2 and 7. Because you see, we have to understand that there is nothing new under the sun. When the sun was created in Genesis, that same sun is what we see today. People come, people go. Centuries pass. Generation comes and go, but the sun is still there. So it has seen all. Brothers and sisters, it has seen it all. Romans 15 and verse 4. The book of Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Read. For whatsoever things Read. were written aforetime were written for our learning. So the things that was written aforetime, our time, meaning before we were here, were written for our learning. Just like you have history and social studies in your secondary school curriculum and at university's level. Brothers and sisters, history. Read that again at chapter and verse. The book of Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So it was written for our learning. It was written so that we don't repeat the mistake that our forefathers did. So, I'm going into, going into some history tonight. We have all heard this saying where people say King James is a white man, King James is a homosexual. But, I want to share this with you all tonight. We are going to go into the records to show that King James actually was a man of color. King James was a man that ruled in Europe. Brothers and sisters, he ruled in Scotland, he ruled over England, and over what you call Ireland today, what you know as the United Kingdom today. He was the reason why we have something called the United Kingdom today. Brothers and sisters, he ruled, he brought them together using what? The tenants, the laws of God. He used the Bible. Brothers and sisters, this is what he did. Modern British history. Again, King James, the sixth and the first. This is a study in early modern British history in Cambridge University. Brothers and sisters, so where well, some of us may be ignorant to this, they actually have this in their curriculum and they teach it to a certain group of people. So this is why when we bring forth the information, you hear some people saying, yeah, I know that. Because some, some of this knowledge is only for a few. This is how they keep you in that state of mind. As to whether the Pope bore the marks 
of the Antichrist. So he's asked, then here he's saying, as to whether the Pope bear the marks of the Antichrist, he's going into it because he understood, brothers and sisters, if he understood how powerful the church was, brothers and sisters, the church had the power to start wars and end wars. The church had the power to influence the people on who to become king and who's not. Just like your modern day government, brothers and sisters, just like your politicians, just like what we call your so-called Congress in the United States of America. Read. James asks bluntly, to it he not usurp Christ, his office, calling himself universal bishop and head of the church. So he said, is it not evident that the Pope does this? What do you say, read that again for me? To it he not usurp Christ, his office, calling himself universal bishop and the head of the church. The Pope called himself the universal bishop and the head of the church, brothers and sisters. This is what James understood. In. This is what was going on in King James' time. As I made mention before, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, there is nothing new under the sun, brothers and sisters. Nothing new. So the Pope, at that time, bore the mark of the Antichrist by the way he operated, the way he moved, the things he would say brothers and sisters. Continue reading. Blaspheme it, he not in denying us to be saved by the imputation of Christ, his righteousness, hath he not so, so fully ruled over the world these many years? So had he not ruled over the world this many years? But what was James talking about? Was he talking about a physical man? Or was he talking about a spirit? Let us go to the book of 2 John. Small book, chapter 7. Chapter 1, verse 7. And let's see what the Bible say about the Antichrist because King James saying here that don't the Pope bore the mark of the Antichrist he usurp authority as the supreme bishop of the universe and the head of the church read the second epistle of John chapter 1 and verse 7 for many deceivers are entered into the world for many deceivers are entered into the world. John the Apostle is writing this here. This is a second epistle. Read. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Yeshua is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. This is a what? A deceiver and an antichrist. So anybody that says with the tongue that Christ read the target. The book, the second epistle of John, chapter 1 and verse 7. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that the Shire Christ is come in the flesh. So they confess not that Christ came in the flesh as a man like me and you to save us. Read. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Read. Verse 8. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. So we ought to receive a full reward. So we understand that anybody confessing not that Christ came in the flesh is a deceiver and an antichrist. Because the poor here is saying that he is the head of the church. Let me get Ephesians 5 and 23. Still touching on the point. Ephesians 5 and 
5 and 22. Okay. Read. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Even as what? Even as Christ is the head of the church. So Christ is the head of the church, as the scripture says, brother. This is Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 23. Christ said, no man cometh unto the Father unless through me. Brothers and sisters, King James understood that salvation came through our Lord and Savior. 